gives you some preset favorite items. Using them makes the estimating process easier. But what do you do if you need something that's not on this list? I've selected a client. I'm going to start a new job. This is a residential exterior job. It's a little garden shed. I have some basic measurements. The shed is 16 by 12 by 8 to the base of the roof, and it has this gable shape. Now for the items. This shed has rough clapboard siding. I'm going to add an item. I don't want to use my commonly used items. I want to use the rate library. I'm going to leave the name blank. This is going to autofill in a moment. I need to know that clapboard siding is charged by the square foot. Then I'm going to get a list of all the rate categories that have items that are charged by the square foot. Here's clapboard siding. I need rough. It's going to be brushed. Now, item type. I'm going to select exterior body. I already told the program the length, width, and height of the building. Because I've selected exterior body, the program is going to use those measurements to factor how much siding there is and how long it will take to brush. If the option that you need isn't here, there is another way to do it, and we'll go over that in another video. I'm going to click Save. Let me add a material to this siding. It has a textured surface. We're not sure what the color is going to be yet, so I'm going to write to be determined, two coats. And done. Based on the measurements, the program knows that there are 484 square feet of clapboard siding that needs to be painted. It's rough clapboard siding. It's going to take about 11 hours and 51 minutes to paint if I'm working industry standards. And if that is true, then the labor cost is going to be just under $500. I'm going to add this item to my favorites list. The next time I need it, it'll be easy to grab.